Mike Bond of USA Today Sports, an MMA junkie here in Halifax, standing next to Sarah McMahon, who fights Gina Mazzani this Sunday night at UFC Fight Night 105. Uh, Sarah, I was telling my colleagues here, I'm actually more excited to talk to you than any other fighter on this card today. I just feel like there's so much to discuss right now with what's going on in women's MMA and your division and everything right now. So uh, I guess we'll just go off the top. Uh, this fight, first of all, I know probably disappointed you went from the opponent switch uh, from Liz Carmouche. What was just your reaction to that? Well, um, I wasn't as disappointed because it's so hard to get opponents that I actually was pretty grateful that somebody stepped up to the plate and took the fight because I would have been really disappointed if I was out of an opponent and didn't even get to compete. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, the Karmouche matchup just seemed like kind of perfect right now. Both you guys coming off wins, both former title challengers, all that kind of stuff. So uh, do you have to kind of reset the mentality a bit from going someone that's proven, former title challenger, all that stuff to a UFC newcomer, four fights, very less known in the sport? Yeah, no, it definitely is an ad adjustment. I had a lot more film on Liz and... Um, you know, those types of fights usually tend to bring out the best performance in me. So I have had to like shift my mindset to make sure that, you know, like um, the same tenacious fighter comes to the, to the cage that would have come if I had fought Liz. So, I mean, like that's, it's definitely an adjustment, but, you know, I've had to work on the fly with wrestling and other fights and stuff. So I can adapt to it. Yeah, of course. And going back to the last performance, do you feel like that was the best you've shown in the octagon so far? Yeah, um, everything was working so much better than it had been. I think that I just had a little bit of hiccups or, you know, like I was thinking about fighting, you know, a little bit more in my head than I wanted to be. Um, and that just comes with growing as an athlete and growing as a mixed, mar mixed martial artist. But um, no, I feel like everything's clicking in every fight. I'm doing better and better and I feel more comfortable and this is just a great time for me in my career. And I think also the fact that now I've been doing it almost eight years. Um, and I really am that kind of athlete that's like the 10,000 hour kind of athlete. I mean, like, sure. I don't come out of the gates I, um, just doing brilliant stuff. You know, it usually takes a lot of work, dedication, drills and persistence and making mistakes and working through them. And that that's just who I am as a person. And, you know, like, I'm I'm at that time, so... That's good. <laughs> Do you feel like you're right there? I mean, of course, we know Amanda Nunes and Valentina Shevchenko are going to be next, but after that, no one really seems to know. No, I definitely think it will. Um, and not only just a win here, but a dominant performance. Like, I know my job. I know what I need to do, and that's exactly what I have to do. And it really doesn't matter who they put in front of me. I have to have dominant performances if I want to, you know, win the title. And so... Yeah, a win here, it'll still uh, project me to the same spot simply because my ranking and, you know, going out there and executing skills and being an exciting fighter and being very lethal, it's going to happen no matter who they put in front of me. And what about 145? People have said maybe you would be a good fit to move up to that division. Obviously, there's not much going on there. Only a couple of fighters. They haven't signed anyone really new. Uh, what about that? Is that something that you've thought about since they opened up that weight class that would maybe be a good fit for you at some point? No, um, the only reason is I think that they think I'm like other fighters where I like rebound up and get really heavy in between fights, but I walk around at like 147. Mm -hmm. So I would be, I would just be small for that weight class. So people thought maybe I would be okay to go up, but I think it's, they, um, they think maybe I walk around heavier than I am. So I, at 135 is the perfect weight for me. I get really is, I cut a lot of, uh, you know, like just, things out of my diet. I eat super clean and I make the weight, you know, precisely. And I am, every bit of my weight is functional weight, you know? And so that's the perfect weight class for me. I can perform the best, but be the leanest possible. So 145, I would just be walking in like a regular day. And that, I don't think that that would be good when they can probably rebound back up, back up to like close to 160. I want the title at 135. And after that, if they want to do some like super matchup at 140, I mean, I would consider that if it was a good move for my career, but my eyes are locked on that Bantamweight title, so.